Fire underwater? It sounds impossible, right? Fire needs oxygen to burn and water puts out fire. So how can there be fire underwater? Well, it's true that fire is rare underwater, but it's not impossible. Just like on land, fire needs three things to burn underwater, oxygen, heat and fuel. The presence of fire underwater shows us that nature is full of surprises. It reminds us that the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. We call these three essential ingredients for fire the fire triangle. This concept is fundamental to understanding how fires ignite and sustain themselves. The fire triangle consists of three elements, oxygen, heat and fuel. Each of these components plays a crucial role in the combustion process. Without any one of these, a fire simply cannot start or continue to burn. Let's dive deeper into each of these elements to understand their significance. Oxygen is all around us, even dissolved in water. It is a vital component for life and also for fire. In the underwater world, oxygen is present in the form of dissolved gas, which aquatic plants and animals rely on. This dissolved oxygen can also support combustion, making it an essential part of the fire triangle. Without oxygen, the chemical reactions that produce fire cannot occur. Heat provides the energy to start and sustain a fire. In the underwater environment, heat can come from various sources such as thermal vents or underwater volcanic activity. This heat is necessary to raise the temperature of the fuel to its ignition point. Once the fuel reaches this temperature, it can react with oxygen to produce fire. The presence of heat is what makes the fire triangle complete. Fuel is what actually burns. In the underwater world, fuel can be anything that is combustible, such as organic material, oil, or even certain chemicals. The fuel provides the substance that reacts with oxygen when heated, resulting in combustion. Without fuel, there is nothing to burn, and thus, no fire can exist. The availability of fuel is a critical factor in the fire triangle. Without any one of these elements, a fire cannot exist. If you remove oxygen, the fire suffocates. If you take away the heat, the fire cools down and extinguishes. If there is no fuel, there is nothing to sustain the fire. This is why understanding the fire triangle is so important in fire prevention and control. By knowing how to disrupt one of these elements, we can effectively manage and extinguish fires. Remove even one and the fire goes out. This principle is used in various fire suppression techniques, both on land and underwater. For example, fire extinguishers work by removing one or more elements of the fire triangle. In underwater environments, specialized chemicals can be used to disrupt the fire triangle and put out fires. Understanding this concept is crucial for effective fire management. Understanding this triangle is key to understanding how fire can exist even underwater. Despite the presence of water, the fire triangle can still be completed if all three elements are present. This knowledge helps researchers and firefighters develop better strategies for dealing with underwater fires. It also provides insight into the unique challenges of fire management in aquatic environments. It's a fundamental principle of combustion, both on land and in the depths of the ocean. By understanding the fire triangle, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexities of fire and the importance of each element in the combustion process. This knowledge is not only essential for fire safety, but also for scientific research and environmental management. Underwater welding is a great example of how we can create fire underwater. Divers use special equipment to create a controlled environment where fire can exist. This equipment provides a continuous supply of oxygen, a heat source to reach high temperatures, and a special type of electrode that acts as fuel. By carefully controlling these three elements, underwater welders can create a stable underwater flame that is hot enough to melt and fuse metal. Uh, the most common method is called wet welding. So, uh, divers use a special waterproof electrode holder. This holder delivers a powerful electrical current to the electrode, when the electrode touches the metal, it creates an electrical arc. This arc generates intense heat, reaching temperatures up to 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat melts both the electrode and the metal, fusing them together. Underwater welding is a complex and specialized skill, requiring extensive training and experience. Section 5. The Safety of Underwater Flames 
You might be thinking, fire underwater, that sounds dangerous. And you're right, it can be. That's why underwater welding is done with strict safety protocols. The flames are contained within a bubble of gas created by the welding equipment. This bubble acts as a barrier, preventing the water from extinguishing the flame. Trained professionals carefully monitor the process to ensure safety. Underwater fire, when controlled properly, is a valuable tool. Section 6. The Challenges of Underwater Welding Working underwater presents unique challenges for welders. Unlike welding on land, underwater welders must adapt to a completely different set of conditions. The underwater environment is unpredictable and can change rapidly, making it a demanding and often dangerous job. Divers must contend with limited visibility, water pressure and the potential hazards of the underwater environment. Visibility can be severely restricted due to murky waters, making it difficult to see the work area clearly. This can lead to mistakes and accidents if the diver is not extremely careful. The underwater environment is filled with potential hazards. Divers must navigate around obstacles such as rocks, debris and marine life. The presence of marine life can be both a distraction and a danger, as some creatures may be curious or even aggressive. The cold water can also cool the weld too quickly, leading to cracks. This is particularly problematic in colder regions where the water temperature can drop significantly. The rapid cooling can cause the weld to become brittle and prone to failure. Welders must use special techniques to compensate for these factors. Techniques such as preheating the metal and using specific welding rods designed for underwater use are essential. These methods help ensure that the welds are strong and durable despite the challenging conditions. Despite these challenges, underwater welding is an essential process in various industries. It plays a crucial role in the construction and maintenance of underwater structures such as pipelines, bridges and ships. Without underwater welding, many of these structures would be impossible to build or repair. It allows us to build and repair structures in places that would otherwise be inaccessible. The ability to perform welding tasks underwater opens up a world of possibilities for engineering and construction, enabling us to maintain and expand our infrastructure in ways that were once thought impossible. Section 7. Beyond Welding – Other Uses of Underwater Fire Underwater welding is the most common use of underwater fire, but it's not the only one. Scientists are also exploring the use of underwater flames for cutting and drilling in deep sea mining and exploration. These techniques could help us access valuable resources and unlock the mysteries of the ocean depths. The potential applications of underwater fire are still being explored, and it's an exciting area of research and development. Section 8. The Wonder of Underwater Fire Underwater fire, a seemingly impossible phenomenon, reminds us of the wonders hidden within our universe. This captivating occurrence is primarily found near underwater volcanic activity and geothermal vents where the Earth's crust is thin and magma can seep through. The intense heat from the magma interacts with the cold ocean water, creating a mesmerizing display of bubbles and steam. These underwater vents, also known as hydrothermal vents, are not just a spectacle, but also a crucial part of the marine ecosystem. It shows us that, even in the most unexpected places, the laws of science can create extraordinary results. Scientists and researchers are continually studying these vents to understand the unique chemical reactions that occur. These reactions can lead to the formation of new minerals and support diverse marine life forms that thrive in such extreme conditions. The study of underwater fire and hydrothermal vents has also provided insights into the origins of life on Earth, as some of the earliest life forms are believed to have originated in similar environments. By understanding the science behind fire, we can harness its power for practical applications like underwater welding. This technology is essential for maintaining and repairing underwater structures such as oil rigs, pipelines and ship hulls. Underwater welding requires specialized equipment and techniques to ensure safety and effectiveness. The ability to perform such tasks underwater has revolutionized marine engineering and construction, allowing us to build and maintain structures that were once thought impossible. While appreciating the delicate balance of nature that makes such a phenomenon possible, the ecosystems surrounding hydrothermal vents are teeming with life, from giant tube worms to unique species of fish and crustaceans.
These organisms have adapted to the harsh conditions relying on chemosynthesis rather than photosynthesis to produce energy. This delicate balance is a reminder of the resilience and adaptability of life even in the most extreme environments. As we continue to explore the depths of our oceans, who knows what other amazing discoveries await us. The ocean remains one of the last frontiers on Earth, with vast areas still unexplored. Advances in technology, such as submersibles and remotely operated vehicles, are allowing us to venture deeper and uncover the mysteries of the deep sea. Each expedition brings new knowledge and understanding, fueling our curiosity and inspiring future generations of explorers and scientists.